Hey groupies, welcome back to Form of Therapy. This is the Culture Study. I'm the channel's video producer and your host. You can call me PD. And today we are checking out Show Your Love by B2B for You. I'm very excited to check this out because B2B hasn't had a comeback in a hot minute. I believe the last one was Beautiful Pain. And then just a handful of their members went into the military. So it's been a while. We've gotten a lot of B2B solos in, be in between then and now. But I've been looking forward to a B2B comeback. Now, this is a subunit. This is not all of them uh, because I believe some of them are still in the military. This is B2B for you. So I assume there are four people in this group. Uh, I have to imagine Nguang and Minyok are in it because they got back from the military. Uh, Peniel, he never went into the military. And I don't know who the fourth would be because I don't know who is in the military and who isn't at this point. So we'll find out when we watch. Now, before we get into today's video, this video is brought to you by our Patreon. Guys, if you enjoy what we do on this channel and if you would like to support us, consider visiting us at our Patreon. If you go to our Patreon for as little as $2, you get exclusive Japanese reactions. We also do some fun reactions to like live, uh, like uh, dance performances and the song performances. But for just a little bit more, we have live stage variety show drama, a uh, bunch of other fun reactions. So if you want to check that out, head on over to our Patreon. But supporting us monetarily is completely optional. If you don't want to, let's just uh, let's just watch this video. This is Show Your Love by B2B for You, and this is your form of therapy. Oh. What? Changzub. I thought I I thought he was in the military. Did he never go or did he get out? Minyok Nguang sounds like it's going to be in the pop realm. God damn. Miss that, miss that voice. Oh, Irun is probably not in this. This is not loud enough for me. This is not loud enough for me. I gotta. Cry. Oh, there we go. Yeah, boy. Oh my god. Oh my god, we're getting vocal work from Minyuk in a B2B title song. I knew she'd be fucking dead. <sighs> Love, 
So it seems the moral of the story is who needs love and women when you have your bros? They all lose their women and they just all wind up coming together. Okay, well, what, what is what is that? Are we getting another music video? Are we getting another music video? Are we getting another music video? Please tell me we're getting another music video. Please tell me that was alluding to another music video. I would absolutely love to see another music video. Okay, wow. Uh, I really, really like that. Um, Show Your Love plays on B2B's greatest strengths, which is the sad bop. Um p2b because their power is in ballads but also because they originated in pop b2b has the amazing power of creating music that is just bittersweet uh but also very fun and exciting and really catchy and show your love is exactly that um uh kind of reminds me of their it's if it feels a little rem reminiscent of their release before Beautiful Pain. I'm blanking on the name, but it was a summer song. And this one, Show Your Love, also has a bit of a refreshing, almost celebratory feeling for it. Uh, and, and I feel like that comes from the song lyrics. You know, they're saying, show your love. Um, so the, the song is about expressing your love. And I think that is translated through the song, um, like being more celebratory and like being more expressive, like literally show your love. So it's like a very fun, exciting song, but then the video portrays something much more sad and bittersweet. Um, but I want to check that out again. Uh, I want to watch it again. I want to listen to it again. I primarily want to listen to it again, but, uh, you know, we'll have some commentary on the way. That tattoo can't be real, right? Okay, so she said, I, I want to stay together or I want to be together. Okay, so Minyok's scenes seems like a very, very, very obvious reference to Romeo and Juliet. Um, specifically, I think the Leonardo DiCaprio movie where uh, Leo, a young Leo DiCap played a young Romeo. And there is a fa very famous scene where they're like, I don't know, like I loving each other through a fish tank, very much reminiscent of that scene. And then later you have the woman dying and then him possibly killing himself, which happens in Romeo and Juliet. I don't remember which person died first, but regardless, either Romeo dies first and, or Romeo like fakes his death. So then Juliet commits suicide and then Romeo's all sad and then he commits suicide or something like that. Either way, in Romeo and Juliet, both of them die. This just goes very much to show you that I never actually read Romeo and Juliet. Uh, I didn't. I was more of a Macbeth stan. Not quite sure what's going on in Unguang's story. Unguang's story, Unguang seems to be a rich, some some kind of a rich, you know what? I'm not even going to get into that until we see more of his scenes. But uh, I assume Peniel is supposed to be like a hoodlum of some kind just like i feel like the typical uh kind of beat for that like the dun dun is usually like a much more light sounding pop vibe but here whatever that instrument is it, it it's actually a little bit like a little bit thicker than you would expect right the plucking is actually really thick like, it almost has that summer tropical feeling, but then they give it that, like, extra depth to that pluck, which kind of makes it a little bit different. So he, like, dropped, st dropped stuff. They were probably, like, stealing stuff. They're, like, hood hoodlums. Everybody 
Yeah, look at him. Look at him holding that glass. Look at that. Look at that shawl, like literally, like, kind of like laced over him. Like half of it's on, half of it's off. Looks look like he looks like a rich billionaire artistic kind of like um like 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 those people that's like burdened by how smart they are you know what i mean and how like like how smart and talented and rich they are and they're so burdened by it like he kind of gives off that vibe i don't know exactly what's going on in this story but And what I like about this subunit a lot is that it's switching up like this is your very typical B2B sound, but the line distribution is very different. You're getting a lot more of Peniel and you're getting a lot more of Minyuk and you're getting both rapper Minyuk and singer Minyuk, which is something that he really showcased. And I think um, really surprised a lot of new people with in his solo release yeah, as Huta. Uh, and I'm glad that they're uh, being able to um, kind of make room for that in their title tracks here. <laughs> Social distancing like they should. Good. I would never let go of his hand. Why did she do that? Oh, show you love. Everybody singing, show you love. Show you love. Yeah. Romeo and Juliet scene. Very much. She's dead. And then there's the poison in which they take because their lover has died and they want to join them in death. And honestly... Is she worth it, man? I mean, I get it. You loved her, but is she worth killing yourself for? They all have this ticket. Interesting. So they're all like wayward and lost. You know, I don't know what, what the fuck is going on in Peniel and Ungguang's storyline. Um, but... Changs up looks like he lost um he lost his girlfriend. Um Minyuk looks like he really lost his girlfriend. Uh and they're all sort of lost and they're like, well, I got nothing better to do. And I assume that paper had like an address on it, and they're they're all like showing up at the same location. And moral of the story, it's okay as long as you got your bros, you know? In Romeo and Juliet, he's supposed to kill himself by taking the poison, but instead he chose not to. To be with his bros. Oh, come on. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. What was that? Any melodies, please let me know. Are we getting another music video? Would love to know. Anyways, oh man, that was so fun. Um, you know, there's not anything like crazy about the music video. Like B2B never really films K-pop music videos. They film, I feel like much more cinematic almost 
short film like music videos that has been their sort of style for several comebacks now uh, I think it really started with uh, missing you Kuriwada um, I think I think uh, that era and uh, going forward from there a lot of their music videos had more of a filmic vibe whereas their debut era you know it was much more k-pop so you know there's not anything here that really kind of blew my mind in terms of like the music video production you know it just it was well shot it was well produced looks like a mini movie so that's great and all but for me the focus here is the song and just it's so great to see the members again like literally it feels like Unguang and Minyuk left the military like last year like, to me, it literally feels like it's only been a year. And honestly, with the amount I've been listening to Huta, it feels like it hasn't even been a year. It feels like that wasn't earlier this year. What? Like, it, it's just, it's crazy. Uh, I, I also think, like, COVID in terms of, like, making time pass actually really helped. And obviously, COVID is a terrible, horrible thing. Um, and I would never wish it upon anyone else. And I wish it had never happened on our society. But if there was a silver lining, it made 2020 just go by like this. And so I think that's why it does also feel like a year. But yeah. Anyways, um, that was my reaction to Show Your Love by B2B for you. I really enjoyed it. 10 out of 10 because it's B2B. Of course, they put out a 10 out of 10 track. It was incredible. And um, it's a mini album. So I'm excited. There's going to be more songs. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for joining me. Um, I just want to give a shout out to all the melodies out there. You know, my B2B videos don't get many views and melodies point that out they're like you know not a lot of people do reaction to b2b because they don't get a lot of views and it's true you know they don't really get a lot of views because b2b is more so uh popular in korea uh rather than internationally but i always every like every comment i get or like I, I've met a lot of melodies in person. Like I've been to concerts for other groups or I've been to KCON and melodies will come up to me and they'll just be like, like, um, you know, or if I'm at a concert for a specific artist, I expect them to come up to me because of that artist. But they're like, uh, I'm actually a melody and I really appreciate that you react to B2B's videos because nobody reacts to B2B's videos. And I do it because I actually fucking love B2B. Um, I love B2B. Um, if you guys know, I notoriously fucking hate ballads. And this is the one group where they are the exception. They are the exception. They are, they are the reason why I hate ballads. Because they set the bar and standard so high. Anyways, uh, thank you very much for watching with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, you know, I... I, I I don't know. It's just, I, I feel really, really happy just watching this. I think I just, I have this weird, like, you know, I don't necessarily stand B2B, but I have this weird kinship with their music. Like it really touches me on like a soulful level. And so even like a, like a fun song like this, it really just lifts my spirits. So good to see them all back together. Well, most of them back together. Uh, but yeah, thanks everyone for joining me. If you enjoyed our videos and you want to consider supporting us, visit us at our Patreon. Hey, if there's any B2B for you stuff that, you want us to check out if they're doing like promotions and stuff like that send me links and we might check them out on our patreon you know uh but if you guys don't want to support us monetarily that's completely fine a free way to help us out is to hit the like button down below leave leave a comment let us know what you thought about the video helps us out a lot with the youtube search algorithm go ahead and hit subscribe be notified when we upload a video and go ahead and check out all our other videos over here and i'll see you guys later bye